Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show Podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm your host. We're on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. I've got three great guests, Mike, Martha, and Snowman in the Morning, Brian Snow. Let's hear that theme music. All right, as you know, on this show, we get right into it. My guests, Mike, Martha, and Brian, we're going to go in that order, and we're playing a game tonight called The Simpsons or Seinfeld. In this game, I'm going to read you an episode title from either The Simpsons or Seinfeld. You have to tell me, who, what episode was it? Was it a Simpsons episode or the Seinfeld episode? Mike, The Way We Was... Is that The Simpsons or Seinfeld? I'm going to go with The Simpsons. The Simpsons is correct. Season 2, episode 12. One point for Mike. Over to Martha. The Cheever letters. The Cheever letters. That's Seinfeld. Seinfeld is correct from season 4 to Brian the bubble boy the bubble boy simpsons simpsons is incorrect it was seinfeld seinfeld back to mike the new kid on the block i think this one is also simpsons the simpsons is correct from another season i ran heavy on season four and to martha the boy who knew too much the simpsons the simpsons is correct moved on to season five that time all right to brian the trouble with trillions the trouble with trillions is that simpsons or seinfeld 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 is Incorrect. It's the Simpsons. And our last one in this round, back to Mike, the Diplomats Club. I'm going to say for this one, Seinfeld. Seinfeld is correct. It is Seinfeld. To Martha, the wig master. Is that Seinfeld? Seinfeld is correct, correct. And last one to Brian, the cartoon. Simpsons, gotta be. Simpsons is incorrect. It was Seinfeld. Seinfeld did the cartoon. A little curveball there. Let's check that scoreboard. We have Mike and Martha with three. Brian, because you have a different score, you get a little advantage going into round two. You can pick the order. You can either keep it the same, change it up, mix it up, whatever you want to do. The call is yours. I'll lead off and Mike goes last. All right. So we will go in round two. Brian, Martha, and Mike. Brian, you're going to the hot seat. Oh, boy. Right. Welcome to the show. Where are you calling in from? Uh, Scipio, Indiana, just south of Indianapolis. Indiana. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's happening out there and about some of the podcasts you produce. Well, I have two. I have uh, Snowman in the Morning with Cole Johnson. That's my morning show. And then I have the Brian Snow Show in the afternoon. I also do alternative play-by-play of different games that I want to cover. I do Monday Night Baseball, uh, Thursday Night WNBA, although I skipped it tonight uh, for physical reasons. Um. I manage my own website, and when I get back in the booth uh, full time, I'll be I'll be uh, doing play by play. So that's me. And if people wanted to go to that website, how can they find you? SnowmanMultimediaSports.com. SnowmanMultimediaSports.com. That link will be in the show notes. So everybody can check you out. Uh, check it out. I know you're on Facebook a lot. I see you there. Uh, yep. You know, make those connections. And are you ready? I'm ready. For the hot seat. <laughs> Let's do it. 
Let's All right. Each of my contestants tonight are going to get three questions from these three categories, a multiple choice, fresh greens, and back in time. Multiple choice. Your first question, Brian. The Bay Area rapid transit system is used in which city? Is it Boston, Miami, San Francisco, or Vancouver? Bay Area. It can't be that easy, can it? Bay Area transit system? The is Bay Area the... rapid transit system. Bay Area rapid transit. Ah, the heck with it. I'll take a guess and I'll say San Francisco. Going with your gut is... I'm going with my gut. Correct. San Francisco is correct. <laughs> All right. I got one. It, it that, can we, be that easy. You're we right. We have a saying the first point is the toughest. That you're over, that's, we're done yep. with that. Yep. True or false, Brian? Daffodils grow to face the sun. I'm going to say, I'm going to say true. True. Back to back is correct. Two points for you. And our third question, back in time, what was banned in Mississippi in 1907 and did not become legal again until 1966? Banned in Mississippi. Alcohol? Alcohol. Three for three is correct. Three for three. <laughs> and we do a five-point bonus question. Each guest will get a, a name five. I'll put ten seconds on the clock once I read you the clue. All you have to do is tell me five things that fit into this category. All right. Ryan, name five desserts that are served warm and go. Good grief. Because all my desserts are cold. I can't do it. I can't do it, Mo. But, hey, out of time. We out got time. three points in that second round. Pretty good. We're going to move Martha to the hot seat. Martha, are you ready? I think so. That last one kind of scared me. <laughs> well, the timer is a little bit of a yeah. little emphasis. So, Martha, tell us where you're calling from. Oh, I am in Washington, D.C. Very, very hot and humid Washington, D.C. tonight. And what's going on in D.C.? Anything, you know, you, sometimes you hear news stories coming out of that area. Anything? Oh, my uh... gosh. <laughs> I mean, really, the weather is all anyone's talking about or thinking about yeah. right now. So, um, you know, it's D.C. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we've got politicians here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well, tell us a little bit it's about... hollywood for ugly people you know so <laughs> that's what's going on around here well tell us a little bit about what you do at dc and a little bit about your show and you know how can people connect with you yeah so i have a podcast um like a lot of podcasts i created it because it was something i was looking for and i needed and there wasn't anything out there like it and my podcast is called my aloof vagina and it's a women's health podcast. It's about perimenopause, but it's kind of a cheeky guide to perimenopause. It's um, instead of being doom and gloom or too medical, it's girlfriends talking and then bringing experts and talking fun experts, people who will laugh about it so that we don't feel like we're crazy um, or that our lives are over. I mean, cause I'm, I'm in that stage. Can you believe it? <laughs> Right. So, it you know, it happens to us younger than we think. So that's my show. And I can be found. I'm on all the socials, but I can be found through my website. My aloof vagina dot com takes you to everything. Very nice. I'll put that link in the show notes. Martha, are you ready for the hot seat? Yes. All right. I'm already hot. Can you see how shiny yeah. I am? It's hot down well, the here. The glasses are up. pulling you off. Those are some super cool glasses. We like those. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Your multiple choice question. Which of these is one of the seven dwarves from Snow White? Is it dozy, lazy, grumpy, wishful? Grumpy. Grumpy is correct. Correct. Woohoo! 
your 50-50 chance question, which came first, flowering plants or dinosaurs? I'm going to say flowering plants. Flowering plants always bet on dinosaurs. It is dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Mm. And you're back in time. We always ask a, a real historical question. What year did Marty McFly travel back to in Back to the Future? I will be honest. Fans wrote in last time we did this question. There are two acceptable answers. As he does travel back and then back. So I will accept one of two years. 1959. 1959 is so close. 55 oh. or 85. Oh, see, that's what I was... Darn it. I was thinking past because, of course, I was in high school when that came out and we watched it and that was the past. That was the past. Yeah. Are, are you ready for that time clock that made you nervous? Yes. I need to make up the points. I'm going to read you the clue. I'll put 10 seconds on the clock. Martha, name five foods sold in jars and go. Artichoke hearts, uh, pickles, uh, peanut butter, uh, pickled beets, uh, martini onions. Martini at the buzzer. You started saying it before the buzzer went off. That is five points for you. Yay! Nice work. Let's move Mike to the hot seat. Mike, how's it going? It's it's going. I'm I'm nervous now after watching the two of them. So Brian really hooked me up. Well, this is the uh, this is the part of the show that's a little bit intense, but you get to do some great plugs, and we get to meet you. And I believe you're the longest distance call in on tonight's show. Where are you calling in from? Uh, from Eva Beach, Hawaii. Now, is it even lunchtime there yet? It's, a, it's about seven thirty here. Yeah, it's lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Uh, what's going on in Hawaii? Are you, what are you having for lunch? Uh, I, I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> we're going to figure that out after I uh, get off here, but, uh, nothing much going on out here except for uh, pretty beautiful weather. And it's probably cooler here than where you guys are at. Oh. It's, uh, we stay pretty steady in the eighties. So. Well, don't make us too jealous, you know, living in Hawaii, <laughs> nice, cool weather all the time. <laughs> I want a piece of that life. Yeah. <laughs> we're all moving. We're going to move the show. We're going to budget that for 2024. But, Mike, I know you've got a great podcast. Tell us a little bit about it and and how can people connect with you? Sure, yeah. So my podcast is called uh, The Average Joe Finances Podcast. Um, It's about personal finances, uh, how to invest, uh, real estate, like all different types of alternative investments. Uh, But the main thing is to give financial literacy to people and and help, uh, help people make those better decisions, financial decisions. Uh, to find me, uh, you can find all my stuff. I also have a podcast editing business and everything about me is on my personal website, mikecavagioni.com. You can find everything. And I'll definitely spell Cavagioni in the show notes. The link will be there. You can connect with Mike and all my guests. You'll find all their links in the show notes. Mike, are you ready for the hot seat? No, but I guess I don't have a choice. That's correct. Uh, Mike, your multiple choice question. Who is the shaggy man beast that supposedly lives in the Himalayas? The Yeti. Is it Chewbacca, Mothra, (laughs) Yeti, or Yak? I forgot it was multiple choice. Uh, Yeti. Yeti is correct. Correct. And your 50-50 guess is a true or false. Orchids are a member of the asparagus family. Oh, man. You know, I used to want to be a botanist when I was a kid. Now I'm going to kick myself in the butt. It would have, you would I'm going to say all true. Year, all those years learning just to answer this I'm just one thinking question. of the way orchids grow. I'm going to say true. True. A good way to put that together. The stems are very similar. Orchids are part of the asparagus family. And our back in time, which country gave the United States the Statue of Liberty? France. France is correct. And your name five, sticking with the foods, name five foods sold from a cart vendor or food truck and go. Hot dogs, tacos, um, Thai food, uh, 
cheesesteaks. I got yeah. four of the five in the 10 seconds. That 10 second comes up a lot faster than you think. <laughs> Let's go to that scoreboard and see how are we doing heading into the final round where there's still 30 points available. We have Mike in the lead with 10, Martha with nine, Brian with three. But like I said, we have 30 points coming up here. And in this round, I've asked each of my guests to bring their own buzzers. This is one of my favorite parts of the show. Uh, we're going to test those buzzers now so people at home know who's buzzing in. Mike, let's hear your buzzer. We've got the lightsaber. And Martha, we've got uh, beads in a jar, one of my favorites. It's a pen in a jar <laughs> might be my, my absolute favorite. And Brian... He's got the family feud buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Dawson's making an appearance. So in this round, it's a video round. I'm going to play you a series of videos. And each video has a very simple question. Who am I? Where am I? What am I? And I'm going to start to read a series of clues that help you answer that. Now, if you buzz in on the first clue, you're going to get three points to answer that question, if it's correct. If you do it on the second clue, two points. The last clue is worth one point. You buzz in using your buzzer when you're ready. If you're right, you'll earn the points. But if you're wrong, you can lose the point value for the question. So you want to be fast, but you also want to be correct. Uh, it can go, it can swing wildly in this round. And if you're ready, let's go to that first one. We're looking for an historical barrier. So which historical barrier am I looking for? It was constructed in 1961. And you'll get about 10, uh, 10, 12 seconds for each clue. And remember, all three clues have to match. It was then demolished in 1989. Martha. The Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall for two points is correct, correct, the Berlin Wall. So that's how this round's played. We have nine more questions. I'm looking for an animal. Which animal am I looking for? One of these is noted for his smile in the Lewis Carroll classic. Martha? Cat. Cat is correct. It is wow. cat. Three points. Wow. Five points already for Martha. All right. We're looking for a fictional character. His parents, James and Lily, unfortunately, were murdered. Mike with the lightsaber. Tarzan. Tarzan is incorrect. Oh. Incorrect. We'll keep the clues going here. I see a little timer on the right. Our second clue on film, he is played by Daniel Radcliffe. I think I Martha. <laughs> I think Martha had that one. I wasn't sure with the first one. I was kind of nervous. Um, Harry Potter. Harry Potter is correct. Correct. All right, this one's, I think everybody's going to know this one. Which iconic 90s pop group? The phenomenon of their popularity was compared to that of Beatlemania. Remember, my clues and my images may not always match, but they might. With more than 75 million records sold around the world, they are the best-selling female group of all time. Martha. Hold on. Uh-oh. The Spice Girls. <laughs> but, 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 do, do, do. It is the Spice Girls. <laughs> How? All right. Martha is well, crushing us. We still Sorry. have six questions remaining. Uh, six times math is 18 points. That We're one looking for a decade. So this is a one out of 10, a decade in the 20th century. The Soviet war in Afghanistan ended in this decade. Our second clue, MTV was launched in the United States. I think that Martha was fast on the buzzer. The 1980s. 
1980s is correct correct all right we're looking for a planet all right could be any planet anywhere it's a big galaxy it is the fifth largest of the eight planets in our solar system with the surface area of 510 million kilometers squared and we're that picture is pointing right to it just in case you're <laughs> all right our second clue it is the densest planet in our solar system <laughs> brian i'll take a shot and say mercury Mercury is incorrect for two points. And we'll go to that third clue for one point. It is the third rock from the sun. Over to Mike. Earth. Earth is correct. Correct. Which planet? Well, it's planet Earth. We're asking it again. It is Earth. Or the Earth. We'd also accept the Earth. All right. We have four questions remaining. We're looking for an animal. Which animal am I looking for? It is the second largest rodent in the world. The second largest rodent in the world. It is a primarily nocturnal, semi-aquatic rodent. The dams they build provide water <laughs> protection against predators. Martha is so fast on that buzzer. Martha. It's the beaver. It's the beaver, beaver <laughs> is <laughs> correct. I'm guessing this might be from an earlier show. Oh, there it is. Beavers. <laughs> it seems appropriate. Yeah. Beavers aloof, <laughs> right? That's a, here we go. I'm not touching that one. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We're looking for an American entertainer. Which American entertainer? I won 26 Academy Awards and have been nominated 59 times. We'll go to that second clue for two points. I plan to open a ski area before I died in 1966. And our last clue, I was fired from one of my early jobs at a newspaper for being unimaginative. Mike. Walt I Disney. Walt Disney is correct. Oh. Correct. Congratulations. I, I knew about the, the firing from the newspaper. <laughs> I had just thought of someone else and I was like, oh, that's not right. Oh, I'm glad I didn't answer. All right. Two questions remaining. What am I? I'm looking for what I was marketed as a documentary, but later classified as a supernatural horror film. So we're, obviously this is a movie is what I am. What movie am I? Mike. <laughs> Off of that first one, I'm going to say the Blair Witch Project. Blair Witch for three points is correct. Correct. And our last clue tonight, three points remaining. Which historical figure am I? I'm looking for a historical figure. My funeral was attended by 20,000 people. go to that second clue it's quiet i said in this world nothing can be certain except death and taxes i should know this you'll know it on this one hands on the buzzer i invented the bifocals and i am on the hundred dollar bill fast hands martha <laughs> that's a, um that's a, benjamin franklin <laughs> benjamin franklin is <laughs> I'm on the buzzer. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that helps either. Benjamin Franklin is <laughs> correct. Correct. Congratulations. Uh, Martha was just unbeatable in the second round <laughs> with 22 points. Uh, that is almost a record. It's hard to score even 10 points in that round. Uh, Martha coming out on top with 22 points. 
What a game. Let's go around one more time and make sure everybody can connect with you. I, I'm so grateful you're able to spend this time with me. Brian, let's start with you. How can we connect and how can we uh, you know, follow your show and listen in the morning? Uh, just uh, follow Snowman Multimedia. Subscribe to me on, on YouTube. Uh, that's the, uh, that's the uh, tag that you need on uh, all my socials. Just follow me at Snowman Multimedia. Awesome. Follow those links in the show notes. Mike. Uh, Average Joe Finances is on every podcast platform, and you can follow me on all social media at Mike Cavagioni, and my website's MikeCavagioni.com. Awesome. And to our winner tonight with the the pink feathered boa, Martha, tell us uh, how can everybody connect with you? <laughs> um, I'm so happy to finally you get forgot to be you on had the that show. On. <laughs> yeah, I've been dying. To be, I've been hot, but I've been dying to be on the show since I found out about it. So thank you so much for the the opportunity to have so much fun um my show is called my aloof vagina and it's on all the podcast platforms and you can find everything related at my and in the socials it's mostly my aloof vagina except in places where they don't let me do it and then i call it mav pod mav pod all right well, now let's dance our way out of here We're going to play a game called Tri Bonds, birds or Australian slang words, real or fake flavors of Doritos. Hey, everybody, this is Jeff from the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show, and we are looking for contestants for future episodes. If you'd like to play trivia here on the Armstrong Neighborhood channel, head over to StuffIneverKnew.com, click Be a Player, fill out the short form, and we'll get you on a future episode. Hope to see you in the hot seat.